the uh, DAL RC UHF long range system, the extension, and uh, put the receiver there inside my Radian bus. And the antenna is sitting up here like this. Um, basically, just swapped out the Dragon Link system. Uh, the Dragon Link receiver is pretty easy. You just it was almost a straight swap in. It only took five seconds. And um, also, I swapped out the tail on this guy. Um, it's a bigger tail. It's the one from the guinea pig. And uh, I, uh, I took out the one from the Explorer because it was a little too small. Plus, the uh, elevator servo uh, stripped on me last time I flew it at Kite Hill. Anyway, uh, hopefully, we'll have a good flight. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so right here is the uh, RSSI. I'm going to be watching that. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, right now it's 105%, which is normal. Right next to the plane, so, um, and the Dragon League the same way, so. Same uh, RSSI signals and analog signal. about the control but I'm, I'm really not going that far it's just an initial test and everything seems to be working it's possible that uh, I'm getting interference from the camera I have the um, the antenna right next to the run cam 2 um, not really that an ideal placement for the antenna it was kind of a quick and dirty I forgot to press record on my DVR, I just did that now. That RSSI is bouncing around. And when I apply the Dragon Link, it doesn't do that. It's pretty steady around here. It stays well above 80%. Possible that uh, the whip antenna is not uh, a good receiver. If I, if I switch that with a dipole, it might be better. That is one of the biggest differences here. Okay, so that was a pretty good test. Uh, I didn't crash. It's always good. I'm um, not really sure why the RSSI was bouncing around so much, but I never lost uh, signal or control and it didn't go into fail safe. So it's probably having to do something with that, that uh, mono, monopole, whatever, the, the whip antenna. It's not a real dipole, so um, it's probably something to do with the reception quality. I'm going to look into that. and uh, but. I mean, I'm able to go pretty far, at least uh, as far as I want, and it, 
really, I never dropped below 50% as far as I could tell. It was mostly above 50, bounce around between, uh, let's say, 70 to 100%, which is not ideal, but uh, not, not that bad either. So I'll look into this some more and get back to you guys.